Step number one, go watch the video that I just made for you again. This is a perfect demonstration of what can happen if you fall in love before marriage. You think, oh my God, I can't live without this person. This person is, is perfect for me. She's the only one. He's the only one. She starts saying that, oh, my dad will never accept you. And the guy says, oh my God, my mom and dad won't accept you either because you're Catholic. Do you see what's just happened? You've put both of yourselves in a very difficult position. Love before marriage will have you doing, saying, and thinking some pretty extreme things. Yeah. Nine times out of 10, people that fall in love before marriage, they think that that is the only person for them, that is the only person that is perfect for them, that is the love of their life. Nobody can love me or I can love them more than these people. That's it, these two people. But the truth of the matter is there's like 50 other people that can love you and treat you just as good as the one that you're with right now. That's the truth. But when you fall in love before marriage, in your heart and in your mind, it's too late. And then you start making some pretty bad decisions. You know what I'm talking about, right? Habibi, let's run away together and uh, live our lives. Agar tu mil jao, zamana chhor dengi hum. Stop that. Don't do that. Why do you think we have walis in Islam in the first place? Why do you think Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised us to meet the families before we go any further? Women are different than men, that's why. Why do you think women like love stories and romantic songs? Because that's their nature. They're women. And that's the whole purpose of a wali. A wali says, okay, tiger. Okay, Romeo, slow down. That game doesn't work on me. Uh, sit down. We're about to have a discussion. And right then and there, that's when the player's game ends. It's over. And I think that's the reason why a lot of men with the wrong intention try to go around the wali or the father is because they know that the father will find out that they really ain't about nothing. Sorry to admit that, but it's true. To answer the brother's question, look, marriage in itself, when it's accepted by you and her and both sides of the family, is war enough. Marriage is hard work, it really is. But if you already have a war in your marriage and a war between the families, it really doesn't make sense to put that upon yourself. We really have to be so precautious about how we meet people, where we meet people, and how we continue from there.